I made a video, it's called anti-Semitic this, anti-Semitic that, right? I don't give a, like, me personally, like, I don't know, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm just a black man that don't give a fuck about his history in it, yeah? I'll put my hands up in it, you know, like, it happened, yeah? I'm an African, but, you know, I was, you know, I'm an African who was taken to Jamaica, if you want to think of it like that, yeah, I'm African, cool, whatever, African DNA, but Jamaican culture in it, yeah? For me, that's enough. What am I going to do to fucking better my life now, innit, yeah? I don't give a fuck who the real Jews are. That does not define me as a fucking man, yeah? How is me knowing who the real Jews are going to make me achieve in this world, yeah? Well, am I going to go to the fucking... Um, with my mortgage advisor and say, yeah, 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 I need a mortgage for this property, miss. Well, sorry, Jay, you don't meet the criteria. You don't earn enough. Yeah, your wages are too low. Yeah, but I'm I, I'm one of the real Jews, though. Okay. Sorry, but you, you don't earn enough. Yeah, but I'm one of the... Um, I'm anti-Semitic or whatever, innit? How, how is being... How is me being a real Jew or a real Israelite, how is that helping me? How is that helping me achieve the things that I want to achieve? Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to um, agree that you lot of real Jews, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, but bow. man, them shan't be getting angry and starting wars over this and starting wars over that. How is that helping you achieve as a person? Yeah, how is that helping you achieve your goals? How is that helping you? Um, oh, okay, yeah, it don't matter, innit? Anyone who's watching this right now who um, no, because, guys, don't get it twisted in it. I don't need to tell you this, yeah. You lot don't have to agree with me, in it, yeah. I don't need to tell you this as well, because there's certain things I say, you lot will challenge me on it, and that's cool, innit, yeah. But what I'm saying is, there's certain people that will agree with whatever is going on, yeah, in the outside world, saying that, oh, you know, we are the real Jews and that. And... But how's that really helping you, though, fam? Come on, fam. How is that knowledge helping you? Yeah, man, all talking about oh, in Egypt they were fucking had universities and shit like that. But what about now, fam? Yeah, what about now? Yeah, man, I'm talking about things that's happened two thousand years ago. What about the bomber club today, fam? Yeah, man, man, are erasing our history. We'll make new fucking history then. Yeah. Make new history. Fucking change that stigma, change that mentality, in it, yeah. Rise up and you know become a, a fucking a strong nation, yeah. That man said how the black community can fucking uh, move forward or whatever. I was talking about in that video. Talking about fucking just start buying properties at least, yeah. Economically, yeah. We can at least establish ourselves economically. Start buying fucking buying properties and that, yeah. Get some money fucking circulating. Yeah, remember, property is increasing value. Yeah? You can remortgage and borrow against the property. Yeah? You, you can use that money that you remortgaged against or whatever to start a business. Yeah? Ma, ma, ma would rather go on YouTube and watch a million videos about the history of this and what what day and what time they went and knocked the fucking Spinks' noses off and shit like that. How is that helping black people of today? All that does, right? And you see all them roots, hidden colours. Oh fucking hell, man. You see them, you see them things, they're hidden colours and that. All them things they need to be burned. Yeah. Roots, hidden colours. All that does is make black people mad. It makes them angry. Even me, the great Jay Wise, yeah. Even when I saw uh what the fuck's that thing called? Amistrad or whatever. Yeah? Let me let me search it once it. It's the film called Amistrad or something like that. The film's called Amistrad or something like that, and they um they had black people, they had the, the slaves on the boat. It's called Amistad, okay. Right. 
There's this film called Amsterdam, right? I didn't watch the whole film. I just remember this. It's, it's got to do with the slaves, yeah? Even when I watched that, right? I was 15 back in school, innit, yeah? And even I was like, right, this made me angry, you know, to watch how our ancestors were treated by, you know, when they were slaves and that. But that is a piece of history, right? How is getting angry over that? How is that helping any of us today move forward? It's not. All it's going to do is make you angry. And angry behavior is like, yeah, see, you remember that film there. That angry behavior is only going to hold you back. Yeah? We need to, honestly, they need to, they need to shadow ban them, them type of films there, yeah? Man, I want to talk about this shadow ban, this and shadow ban that. No. Yeah? We don't need to be watching them things there. Yeah? They ain't doing nothing for us. Not a blood clot thing. Hidden Colours and that. Any of you lot ever come across a DVD called Hidden Colours, yeah? Fucking burn that shit alive, yeah? You will never find a DVD called Hidden Colours in Blockbuster, yeah? They're no good, yeah? Let me highlight this comment. Hidden Colours. Stay far away from fucking Hidden Colours, yeah? That is poison for a, a, a black person's mind. All that will teach you to do is hate white people, yeah? And hate the police, yeah? You ain't gonna get no way if you, if you have hate. How can you expect to get anywhere in life if you have hate for a particular race of people? These individuals have done nothing to you personally. They've done nothing to you personally. Are you, are you hating white people? White people ain't done nothing to me. White people have fucking helped me. I made, I made videos talking about, you know, the times when white people have helped me and shit like that. Yeah? One white woman helped me to get a job with the council, the Haringey council. Yeah? My white fucking tutor. Yeah? He wrote into the prison when I was in prison. Yeah? He wrote in and vouched for me whilst I was in prison. A white man. Yeah? He could have thought to himself, oh, just another monkey. Uh, you know, an an another black statistic who's gone to prison. Yeah? Why am I going to vouch for him? Yeah? No. Although I was a black statistic, quote unquote, because I went to prison or whatever, innit? Yeah? He knew me personally and he knew I was a focused young man. Hence why I won an award in, in, uh, at college for best attitude to learning or whatever, innit? Although I was out on the street doing foolishness, when I was in class, I was still focused. I was still focused on my electrical studies. But on the street, I was doing foolishness or whatever, innit? Yeah? So he must have thought to himself, ah, Right. Although he's been to prison or whatever, and obviously he's guilty of whatever crimes he committed, right? But I know him in the classroom, and I know he's got potential. If I was one of those young black guys who was coming into you, you know that but the man coming into class and they hire you know. This man going around the corner into the car park burning weed on their lunch break. And they all, the, the man they're coming into class and they're just looking drowsy, zombified and that, yeah? If I was one of them man there, yeah, coming into the class after a bun two, one, two spliff or whatever, innit, yeah? Just pretty much scraping through the exams and that, maybe fail one, two exams, but not fail because, you know, maybe he just maybe didn't put a little bit in as much effort as he's supposed to, no, outright failed, he hardly turned up or whatever, innit, yeah? He wouldn't have vouched for me, but yeah, I was always, well, I'm going to say in on time, you know, a black man time, innit, yeah? Ain't no, can't no one, none of you lot laugh at me about black man's time, you got man like DM and Urban Bourbon bloke coming into the live stream there, I don't want to hear nothing about no black man's time or nothing like that, innit, but yeah, man coming into class, maybe five, ten minutes there, but more time, you know, to be fair, my punctuality was good, but my attendance was always 100%, I never missed no days off of college or nothing like that, innit, but yeah. You know, let's say, yeah, but 100% attendance, yeah, passing exams, never failing exams, yeah, that young man is focused in the classroom, yeah. Unfortunately, 
there's something going on on the street and either he put himself in that position or whatever in it, yeah? The streets, yeah, is, yeah, it's, it's not it's not good for him or whatever in it. But in the class, he has potential. I'm going to vouch for this young black man, a white man. He's not from, he, he don't live in London or nothing. I don't know where he's from, whatever in it, yeah? But yeah, he ain't from the hood or nowhere like that, yeah? He vouched for me. He wrote into the prison for me. Yeah? I don't know nobody who their college shooter has wrote into the prison for them. Yeah? I don't know no one. Yeah? Any any you don't know any road man who's been to prison or whatever, ask them if their college shooter has wrote into prison for them. Yeah? Because I'm the only person you know, I know who, who that's happened to. Yeah? But black people, there's certain black men that that might happen to, but they'll forget that part. Yeah, they they forget that part, innit? it? Yeah, they forget the part when the white when the white lady helped them to get an apprenticeship. Yeah, they forget the part when that like, my last job, my manager, white man, made me the supervisor. Out of all the white man, all the older man that they could have, it made me the supervisor. Yeah, the sec the second youngest man on the team. The youngest black man on the team, he made the supervisor. Come on, man. Come on, man.